Yo, what's up? Can everybody hear me okay? <laughs> We're gonna see how this goes. This might be a little scuffed. It's my first time doing something like this. <laughs> but I just sent out my notifications on Discord, so I'm gonna give some folks a little bit of time to get in. Uh, we'll see how things go, I suppose. But this is gonna be a little sneak peek into my drawing process. Um, and while we're waiting for folks to come and join, hi. While we're waiting for folks to come and join, I'll go ahead and give you, you guys the lowdown on how this uh, whole stream is gonna work. So I asked earlier today in the Discord for some suggestions for drawing ideas, and I received quite a few actually. I was kind of impressed. Um, and what I did is I took the suggestions I received and I put them in a wheel that would automatically pick all of the stuff for me so that I wouldn't have to worry about actually selecting themes. It's just gonna kind of be a wheel situation. Um, unfortunately, you guys are going to have to kind of take my word on what the wheel rolls because I have tried everything and cannot get the wheel to capture on uh, my OBS. So you're just gonna have to trust me, but I plugged everything into the wheel and I've got some stuff on there I'll go ahead and read off the options. We'll go ahead and read those off so everybody can kind of know what the dealio is. So, our options on the wheel are as follows. Some of these are suggestions, some of these are things that I personally added that I think would be fun to draw because I kind of needed to beef up how much stuff we had. So our options on the wheel are Mineta getting dropped ki drop kicked by a character of my choice, uh, Charizard. Um, this is one of my inclusions, random Pokemon generator. Uh, if that lands, I'll go to the random Pokemon generator website and I will randomly generate a Pokemon to draw. Um, then next up we have random anime character. Similarly, I have a completely random anime picker. What I'll do is I'll have it pick an anime for me and then just look up some of the characters, find what I think looks interesting and draw them. Uh, then next up, I have emote, which is, I promised the guys I do emotes, uh, at the guys, the custodians, that I do emotes for them. So I'll do a little bit of work on the uh, emote stuff that I promised that I actually am going to get done. Um, this was a suggestion from Discord, um, a little lad, which is my own interpretation. So I, if that lands, I just get to pick what little lad I want to draw. <laughs> um, next up was another Discord suggestion, which was Ghost Rider. Um, then we also had D&D characters from our campaign. Uh, Rhett sp um, specifically requested Django because that's his character who I promised I would do art of and then uh, never finished it. Uh, which, to be fair, I struggled quite a bit with the sketch I had, so maybe I just need a fresh start. Similarly, Gabe suggested I draw Grog, which is his D&D character. Uh, my best friend suggested I draw a dragon. Very general, but I appreciate it. Uh, then one of my additions was Hush, which is my little purple cat character. Um, greetings, I was at work so I could not make a suggestion. Hey, no worries, we got lots of options, fortunately. And I, like I said, I added some of my own stuff, so uh, there's gonna be a lot to pick from tonight, and I probably will not be able to do everything. I'll probably be able to do one or two things, depending on how long it takes me to draw. Um, next up was an option I added, which was Hush, which is my little purple cat character. Uh, if I land on that, I'm just gonna do a quick sketch of her. Um, then next option is my choice, which is I'm just going to pick whatever I want, which may end up being something on the wheel. It may be just me spinning the wheel again. <laughs> um, then art fight prep. I talked a little bit about this, but art, art fight is next month, uh, which means I need to be finishing references and stuff for the website. So if I land on that, I'll probably work on doing some updated art for my characters. Um, design a character, which is kind of a fun one. Uh, if I land on that, I'm either going to use a random generator to get some randomly generated prompts, or I'm going to have chat make some suggestions, and everybody's gonna tell me what character I'm gonna design. Then lastly, I have redraw an OC, which is basically me taking any character of mine that I personally have created and just drawing them new and fresh. Um, so yeah, uh, those are our options. And I think we've got pretty much everybody we're gonna get with critical mass here in stream. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spin the wheel and we're gonna see what I draw first. I may have to resize the canvas I'm on depending on what I get because obviously if I land on emote, this is not the right size for an emote. I just wanted the canvas to be open. But here goes the wheel. 
What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? <laughs> okay, so our first choice is Hush, which means, uh, first things first, I'm just gonna be drawing my own little character. Uh, that's a nice, that's a good one because I get, it gives me some chances to warm up here. I have not warmed up my drawing hand. Hopefully I'm in the right headspace to draw tonight. Uh, cause sometimes I draw and I hate everything I put on the page. So let's hope today is not one of those days, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, so for any of you who might be curious, uh, oh, I love this thing that my iPad does where the screen doesn't work. <laughs> So for all those of you who might be curious, um, the application I'm using to draw is Procreate. It's an app that you can get on most iOS devices. And uh, you can just use it to do a lot of different stuff, honestly. It's a great app and it's a pretty inexpensive price for as far as drawing apps go. It's a flat $10 price point with no extra fees after, which is honestly pretty stellar. Uh, I bought it after using Adobe Sketch for a while because that was the free program and I wanted to make sure I was dedicated to my craft before I invested money in an application. But yeah, I use Procreate to draw and I sketch, I have, I'm kind of a creature of habit. I use a lot of the same pens constantly unless I want to like make the conscious effort to change things up. So I do a lot of my sketching with the uh, peppermint pencil, which you see me using now, uh, to kind of get my character's head outline going. And then you also, for inking, will see me use Studio Pen, which is what I use for a lot of my cartoony drawings. Um, what kind of pose do I want to go for? That's what a webtoon I'm a Patreon supporter of is drawn on. Yeah, Procreate's a great option, honestly. You can do webtoons with Procreate. I have actually considered that in the past and may eventually get around to doing that. The only problem is I suck at backgrounds. So that's gonna take some practice before I can do anything webtoon related. I might change your head up a little bit later. I often just kind of go in and do some random shit with the sketch. And then I go back in later and change things I don't like. But we're just gonna try to do a fun little pose here. I'm just gonna go for something random. It's just a warm up, so it's fine. It can be anything I want it to be. We love warming up. So do some blocked out shapes. You may notice that my sketches are very messy. That's how they should be. They actually probably should be messier than this. I just, I'm, I'm still trying to learn not to be a perfectionist when it comes to sketching, honestly. I try my best, but it's harder than you think. Okay legs started okay, like that good dynamic posing is looking fresh thank you very much okay let's get the little feet in there cool good start good start and we're gonna do a little foot up in the air moment with her if I can pose that correctly it's harder than you think I am doing this one, I am probably going to use reference a little bit on stream tonight, but this one's going to be off the dome. Since it's a warm-up, this is going to be a no-referencer. So let's hope I can get the leg positioning right without references. It's probably not going to be great, but I'm going to do my best. Hi, what are we drawing this evening? Um, I am using a random prompt generator that has both my own ad additions and suggestions from Discord. Uh, but right now, I'm doing a little warm-up of my own little purple cat character, which you can see on screen. Which, we're gonna try this, see if this looks better. Because I'm struggling with her leg positioning, as I generally do with poses like this. So, let's see. She has one foot, oh, I deleted her foot by mistake. Whoopsies, I'll put her paw back. Um, can every, first of all, can everybody hear me okay? Because my mic is a little farther than usual from my face, because I am sketching, so I can't have it super up close like I usually do, because I would hit it all the time. Uh, let's do her little fingers. She's going to be giving us the peace sign because that's easy to draw. And this is a warm up. It's supposed to be just fun, fun having, fun, great stuff. Resize that. That's huge. Perfect. We can hear you. Excellent. That's what you love to see. All right. Change this positioning a little bit. Good. 
I'm going to do like that. I think that looks pretty decent as far as positioning goes on the hand. The foot is going to be my big problem here, isn't it? You're going to be the problem child today. We'll just throw that in like that for now, maybe. Maybe a little bigger. This is where I struggle a little bit. Because I want part of me is just tempted to do it like this. How natural does that look? I guess that'll do for now, maybe? No, her leg's bent at an awkward angle if I do that. Shoot, see, positioning's hard when you don't have reference, let me tell you. This is why I use references a lot, but we're just gonna kind of, like I said, this is a warm up, so I'm going off the dome for this one. Okay, so let's think here. If her leg is like this on this side, then on this side, it should be like this. Still looks broken though. Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna quit agonizing over her leg and just do that for now and we'll fix it later when it comes to post. All right, then where should your tail go? So if your body's moving like this, tail should move this way. I'm sorry if I'm undoing things a lot. This is my process, my guy. <laughs> um, and while I sketch, of course, if you have any questions you want to ask me about my process or what I'm up to, feel free. I'm more than happy to answer any drawing-related questions during the stream, or not drawing-related. You can ask me anything you really want to, but if you want to keep it to the drawing theme, you're of course more than welcome to do that as well. I'm just kind of going buck wild with it right now to get my sketch on the paper or screen, I suppose. She's cute, thank you. <laughs> uh, the sketch is turning out pretty decent, honestly. Uh, the eyes are gonna be the hard part though because her eyes are hard for me to caption sometimes. It's getting the shape right consistently that's hard. Okay, let's see if I can't get these eyes on the first try here. Okay, got that. Do her little makeup. See how we're looking on that. Uh, something doesn't seem quite right. Maybe her head's a little too big. Let's bring this cheek down a little bit. I don't really think the cheek's too much. This one's a little too much as well. Can you draw her holding a knife? You know I can. <laughs> do you want her to be holding a knife? I can do that. I mean, we can do cute goes kind of dark. Let's think here. Hmm. Yes, okay, I see a yes in all caps. I will change her peace sign to wielding a knife. We'll see how this goes. I have not drawn a character wielding a knife in many a year, so we'll see how this turns out. Okay, she's holding. She's holding something. Maybe tilt this a little bit more. So that it actually looks like she's holding something. Okay. Good. Okay, got that. Got a handle. Cute has its limits. I understand that with the word hush in the name, but why the two band-aids over the mouth? Um, that is because, uh, I think I talked about this a little bit, I talked about this a little bit on one of my other streams, but I designed my little character here off of my username rather than the other way around. Um, and since I started with my character, since I started with my username first, I chose the username Hush Hush Kitten. And so when I was trying to design what my character would look like, I was like, okay, well, she obviously has to be a cat because my username literally has kitten in it. And then I was like, well, how does the hush play in though? And I just had this idea for an X design. And I was like, okay, well, hush, she can't talk. So maybe a little X that goes over the mouth. And it just kind of ended up being that way. Um, okay. So that looks like that's gonna be our positioning for this. That sketch looks good. So let's go ahead and do our inking now. So, um, I don't think my hush palette is exactly right. I haven't updated it yet. But yeah, so now I'm just gonna go in with uh, interesting. Yeah, it's kind of like, it kind of is an interesting, she already is kind of an interesting mix of dark plus cute because, um, 
that's just how she was when I designed her. She has, like, the little tape over her mouth, which most people would kind of consider to be creepy. But she's very, like, she's designed in an obviously very cute way. And I guess that's just very representative of how my art has always been. Does she have toe beads? She does. Um, I don't know if you can see. Oh, I just realized something crucial. How could I forget? Oh, my gosh. I have a drawing sprite. I made a drawing sprite for this. <laughs> Yeah, you can see in my little drawing sprite that I just switched to, she does in fact have toe beans on her feet and hands. You can see her little pink paw pads when she holds her hand out. I cannot believe I forgot to change. I literally went through all that effort to put this together. <laughs> um, she has no mouth, yet she screams regardless. Yeah. <laughs> Constant agony. It's the agony of my physics class that causes her to scream. <laughs> but... Yeah, she, uh, she is kind of like the embodiment of cute plus creepy because that's just how I started drawing. Uh, it kind of shows the transition of my work. I used to draw dark, lots of, like, heavily saturated, high contrast, like, scary, creepy, uncanny art. And I've kind of, in recent years, gone a more cartoonized, like, sanitized cartoon direction with it just because that's how my aesthetic has kind of changed over the years. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of like, she, that's why she has that kind of creepy vibe, despite being a very cute character. The idol animation is her drawing, that's adorable. Thank you! I thought it was very, uh, funny. Um, I designed this forever ago when I first started setting up my, uh, goal to have an art stream. And I just decided that this is what I was gonna do, and I can't... I spent all that time setting this up before the stream and then literally forgot to twitch to my little character drawing when I started. I cannot believe this. <laughs> but yeah, so she does have kind of those creepy aspects to her a little bit with like the tape over the mouth, but I do want her to be a primarily cute character because it's just, that's what I'm feeling lately. Maybe someday I'll go back to horror art, but... Do I like sushi? I do. As a matter of fact, that's what I ate for dinner tonight. <laughs> Nothing fancy. It was just pre-packaged, but that's... I'm a, I'm a big sushi enjoyer for sure, for sure. Uh, it, I'm kind of picky about what kind of sushi I like, though, honestly. Uh, because some kinds uh, are too much. I like fish, but not like a ton. So I don't want my fish to taste too fishy, if you know what I mean. But... All right, so that's the head kind of based out. So let's do her little sweater collar. You may notice I kind of work pretty quick. I don't know why, I've just always drawn kind of fast. <laughs> this is just who I am. It's also my art looks kind of messy sometimes. Uh, favorite show, as of right now, it's probably Demon Slayer. It changes a little bit the more I watch new stuff, but Demon Slayer's really had my heart lately. It's been so good. Animation in season two popped off. It's just amazing. I absolutely adore it. Not to mention the characters are super fun and I like their designs. So I would say right now, that's probably the fave. Um, so let me think here. I also am a big fan though of uh, Spy Family. I've been watching that a lot every week that it, when the new episode airs, I've been watching it and I really like it. So <laughs> that's been kind of my go-to lately, honestly. <laughs> Um, okay, so I have that. So let's do her little sweater collar down here. But, yeah. I just thought it might be kind of fun to do some different prompt stuff. I'm, hon I'm honestly really glad I got something super easy like this for me to warm up with. Because obviously my own character is going to be something super easy for me to get on the page. Because I draw it so much. Uh, next draw of Hush, can you draw her in Tanjiro's outfit? That's a cute idea. Oh my gosh. I might, like, even if I don't get to that this stream, I might have to, like, uh, do that in the future. Because <laughs> that's a really cute idea. I like it. <laughs> um, another thing, you, not, like, not to go back to the whole horror talk, because we kind of changed subjects a little bit, but also to add to that is, like, you'll notice she has little claws. I give her little nails. Ooh, she have nice fingers. Yes, she does. I give her little claws because she's cute, but she's also dangerous. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Do you... How can I make her look... Yeah, that looks decent. 
I'm actually pretty happy with this, how this is going so far. She wields a knife. Like you, thanks. <laughs> Aw, shucks. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? I had something. I have, I'm such a bad habit of losing my train of thought, especially when I'm doing something like this where I'm like talking and drawing. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. I forgot to draw her lines on her sweater collar. There we go. Okay. Okay, give her a little finger bumps here. It's harder than it looks. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's another thing that's fun about Hush, is that her uh, fingers are so simple. I love it. It makes my life so much easier, which is exactly why I designed her like that, because I wanted my life to be easier. <laughs> okay. Do her little wrist action there. Cool. That looks pretty decent. Okay. So we draw the knife, like, this. Oh, that's too much. Um, but yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get through as much of this stuff as I can tonight. Uh, it, it's gonna be dependent on how much I can get through before I either crash or kind of hit my social limit. Because <laughs> streaming is socializing for me. Uh, is there an OC you have wanted to draw? Um, yeah, I have a lot of OCs I have not drawn in a very long time. For the in uninitiated, OCs are original characters. I'm an author slash character designer, so I do have some characters that I myself designed outside of my little lovely purple cat that you see here. Um, but, uh, let me think. It's a hard question. There's quite a few I've never drawn, such as, uh, I have a character named Isaiah I've never drawn, or like, at least, like, never drawn in a full piece. I've drawn, like, snippets. But I've also been really in the mood to try drawing Pike lately, because Pike's one of my characters that's really fun to draw. He has a ton of piercings, uh, which gives me an opportunity to kind of, like, play around a little bit. And I'd be interested to see how much I've improved, because I drew him when I first got the iPad. And uh, when I was using Adobe Sketch before I bought Procreate, I drew him. So I'd be curious to see how much I've improved since then by trying to draw him again. Because my style has changed wildly since I last drew him. Um, how many do you think I can, how, do I think I can get through? Uh, depends on the complexity of the drawing. Like this drawing here, I've been going, I think, for about 20 minutes. It probably will not take me all that much longer to finish. Um, because once it gets to the coloring aspect of things, I move pretty quick because I can just color drop everything. But since her pose is a little bit more complicated, it's taking me a bit longer than usual. I, I would say on average, drawings take me, if they're very simple like this, drawings probably take me about half an hour. Um, which is pretty damn fast considering how most artists work. But like I said, that's why my art kind of looks messy sometimes is because I do, I do just draw so quick. Um, Rosie's watching you, by the way. Excellent. Rosie's a fan. I love that. We stand, Rosie. <laughs> Get those big, cute eyes in there. Cute. She's coming to kill you, but she looks cute while doing it. <laughs> um, okay. Now for the hard part, which is her legs. iPad, please let me adjust my screen. Thank you. Come on now. Yeah, um, a tip to people who like want to start drawing and like are thinking, oh, maybe I'll get an iPad and use my iPad to draw. Don't do it. This thing sucks. Like I use it. It's a great tool for me, but um, it has a lot of issues. The Apple Pen uh, is always dead. Always. Um, it falls apart. My Apple Pen's literally broken and I've had it for about a year. Uh, and I have not really put it through any heavy damage. I don't generally drop my Apple Pen or my iPad because I really, really care about these expensive items that I paid a lot of money for. Um, and my iPad also does this really fun thing where if I try to use the screen sometimes, it just doesn't adjust, which is why you hear me yelling at it sometimes to let me do what I want to do. 
Um, but I would recommend getting a nicer tablet than an iPad. Uh, especially since iPads are so expensive. I would recommend if you're very sure starting, maybe try getting one of those cheaper Wacom tablets because they're relatively affordable, and so long as my, your computer has a USB, you can use them, which is great. Uh, they're a little harder to use because they're not the kind that you can like look at the screen while you draw. You have to like look at your computer while you draw, which makes it a little harder, but um, I've drawn on them before and it's not nearly as hard to adjust to as you'd think. Say, wanna hear a joke? Yeah, hit me, let's hear it. All right, that's too far back. I'm always in the mood for jokes. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get her foot right. Well, we kind of have gaps in the chat here. I'll go ahead and talk a little bit about some stuff with art. Because, yeah, I'm drawing, so it, means, it seems fitting that I should do, like, art tips and advice and stuff. Like, I'm not a professional, but, uh... I do draw a lot, so I have a little bit of knowledge. Uh, knock knock, who's there? Tell me. Um, one bit of advice I'd give to new artists is uh, tank. Tank who? Talk a little about Ray Shadow Legends. Hey man, when they sponsor me, I will, trust me. <laughs> I've never played, but the second they give me a sponsorship, I'm becoming an, av I'm an avid player. You're welcome. Oh, that one's so bad. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I like that one. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Um, how do I draw her paw in this position? This is hard. I've given myself a tricky position to start with, honestly. But, you know, that's part of the fun. It's part of the fun. Okay. Let's consider paw shape here. The leg should go like that. Maybe. Her foot come down a little bit more, maybe. Oh, I was talking about art tips. Crap. <laughs> See what I mean about getting distracted? Uh, but basically, like I said, don't start with super, like, I personally would recommend not starting with super expensive equipment until you know you're going to be dedicated to, the, to it because, uh, I don't see much of a point in investing super heavily into expensive stuff if you don't know how dedicated you're going to be. Uh, knock knock, who's there? Um, but I, I just recommend Noble. Noble? Noble who? I recommend starting out with just like, how most artists start, pencil and paper. Uh, that's how I learned. I learned everything traditionally first. Oh, no bell. No bell. That's why I knocked. <laughs> that one's so bad. Um, I still don't know if I'm happy with how her foot looks in that position. But we're going to leave it for now. Maybe it's because I need to adjust this leg. I don't know. We'll leave it for now and work on the tail. But, um, that's a much better line. Cool. But, start on pencil and paper. It's going to be a lot harder, but learning the basics on pencil and paper will honestly help you out a lot in the long run. That's how I started with my stuff. I started draw out by drawing in cheap sketchbooks and line notebook paper at school. Skinny tail, why no fluff? Because uh, I imagine her being a short-haired cat. Um, I draw fur and stuff differently depending on how the character is, like, how I envision them in my head. And since I envision her to be a short hair cat, I draw her care as be character tail as being, like, skinny, less than fluffy. Um, if a character, if I do imagine a character having longer fur, I do typically give them a fluffier tail. Like, you might see in some of my other art, I do give some characters really floopy tails, but... She's short-haired, so I give her some short hair tails traits. That's just kind of how I envisioned her when I first started. Uh, though to be fair, when I first started, she was an actual cat and not a little anthropomorphic creature like she is now. Um, okay, let's see here. 
I think that this positioning is good. I just think that this needs to be a little bigger, which a fun fact about resizing like this is it is going to drop the quality of my line art there. So I am gonna have to draw back over it to up the quality again, which is just, that's what happens when you resize, but it's fine. I know that's going to happen when I do it. I just draw over it so I can still color draw. Sick. All right, let's see how that looks without the sketch. We're looking pretty good, actually. All right, now is for the fun part, which is our color. So I'm gonna add a new layer here. We're gonna set my line art as a reference, and we're gonna throw some color in here. And she is, and that's too dark. Yeah, it's too dark for you, honey. You need to be lighter. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's about right for her. Um, is your favorite Demon Slayer character Inosuke? Yeah, I love Inosuke. He's hilarious. He's probably my favorite. Um, don't get me wrong. I do really love other characters like, uh, Tanjiro and Rengoku. I probably would say Zenitsu is my least favorite, but that's not shocking to anybody. Because, uh, he's like, he's a really good comic relief character, but he's not like a super, he's not my favorite. Knew it? Yeah, what can I say? I wear my heart on my sleeve with that one. <laughs> I love, I, I'm a sucker for gremlins. That's why Bakugo is my favorite as well. Uh, you're very talented. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, though, not to give you a lecture, but I'm going to say what I always say when people tell me that. I'm not talented. I am trained. Because I have no natural talent for art. Everything I know about art, I have taught myself how to do. Um... Native versus manual, who wins? Uh, definitely not native, so probably manual. <laughs> I can't say with too much confidence because uh, to be completely on like completely honest with y'all, uh, I don't know anything about manual. <laughs> Interdimensional pork red, easy clap. Well then you're very well trained. Don't call me kitten, you know I don't like that. You know I don't like that, how dare you? How dare? <laughs> this is a, th that was verbal assault. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> um, but what I was saying was, uh, what was I saying? I was just talking about some random stuff. <laughs> uh, oh, I say I'm not talented. I'm trained because I have no natural talent for art. Uh, I did not start good. I, uh, went and just drew for years and years and years and years and years. <laughs> I have drawn since about fourth or fifth grade. I think fifth grade was when I started, so it's been about 10 years. Uh, natural talent is something that some people do have. The whole reason I started drawing was because one of my best friends at the time uh, was amazing at drawing. Um, then I was kind of like, wow, I really like their art and they draw art of my characters all the time. I want to be able to draw art of my own characters. So I just kind of decided one day that I was going to be an artist. Um, I was floored when I learned Zenitsu and Dobby shared the same voice actors in Japan. I know it's freaking shocking to learn that. I, I was like shooketh when I, re when I found that out, man. There are so many talented voice actors in Japan, though. Like, I feel like there are so many characters that you can hear them, like, side by side and have no idea it's the same person. Uh, do you take commissions? Uh, I do not right now uh, because of some specific circumstances which are kind of boring to talk about on stream, so I won't. But, no, I do not currently take commissions. Maybe someday in the future, but right now I'm just kind of doing my own thing for fun. Um, also Con Connie from Attack on Titan, I know, dude has range, like, he can freaking voice act. It's always so impressive to me because there's a lot of people that, like, when you hear them talk, it's just the same voice over and over and over. Like, no offense to English voice actors, but actors like Todd Haverkorn or J. Michael Tatum, it's always pretty recognizable when you hear them. But in Japan, it feels like they can just shapeshift their voice. Like, you can just deadass not tell sometimes. Okay, throw my color dropper in there. Let's do these fingers next. Um, what was I was talking about training. 
But yeah, I just decided one day that I was going to be an artist, so I just bought some <laughs> really cheap how to draw manga tutorial books from uh, Hobby Lobby. No, not a plug, just where I got them. And I just started learning techniques using references from online and doing my own thing. And eventually I just liked it enough that I continued to do it and here we are. How dare you hate J. <laughs> J. Michael Tatum? Hey, I never said I hated J. Michael Tatum. I love J. Michael Tatum. I'm just saying that when you hear his characters talk, you know exactly who that is. There's never any mystery. Like, if J. Michael Tatum's in it, you know he's in it. Um, okay, so I need to do her tail marking next. Okay. Uh... <laughs> But, yeah. So I just, I was just bound and determined that I was going to be an artist. And I started out by doing some really shitty, blocky cats. Which, here, I'll give you an example of the first cat style that I ever used to draw. I used to use uh, graphite pencils. And I used to just, at the bottom of a piece of paper like that, I would do this. Dead ass. This is how I drew cats for a long time. And then I do like a little eraser. I draw those big, stereotypical, cute cartoon eyes. That was exactly how I drew cats for about two years when I first started drawing. <laughs> and I had a favorite teacher at the time, and I would like do different variations on stripes and spots and shit. And I'd give it to the same teacher every time because I loved her. And like, she was also super sweet about it. She always encouraged me and was like, this is so good, just keep drawing even though they kind of sucked because I was uh, in fifth grade and had no talent for art. But she was very sweet about it, and I honestly think she really helped me a lot when it came to, like, actually continuing my art career because I did get made fun of a lot for how bad my art was when I was younger. I tend to have a harder time recognizing female Japanese VAs than male ones, but recently I've been able to recognize Sayori Hiyami's voice. Yeah, I feel like I always have a really hard time recognizing Japanese voice actors because a lot of them just have such a good range it's very difficult for me to like pin down who it is sometimes I'm able to pick up on the differences like and realize when there's a bit of an overlap between characters but it can be difficult with Japanese actors there just seem to be fewer of them with super distinctive voices it's true they, they just have very diverse like vocal ranges um do her eyes next which need to be Nice light blue, a little less intense than that. But, uh, yeah, when I first started doing art, I did get made fun of. That was a thing. Because, you know, it's middle school and children are assholes. Uh, but I never really let it bother me too much because I didn't really give too much of a shit about what the people in my class said because I kind of thought they were dumbasses. And lo and behold, I was right. Because one of the chicks that made fun of me... I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. That's not nice. I'm not. I'm just gonna keep that one inside. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all you need to know is, uh, I, yeah, I, I used to get teased for my art, but I got better. And now look, look at me now. I actually do pretty decent stuff. Um, I have actually, and like probably the biggest morale booster I ever had when it came to my art is I did have people like request a commission from me. Uh, which, of course, I'm not taking commissions, but I was very flattered that they thought my art was good enough to ask for one. So I just thought that was very sweet, and I liked that uh, people liked my art enough to ask for something like that. Uh, let's see, what kind of pant color do I give her? Is this right? Eh, it's a little too dark. A little lighter than that. Yeah. Let's give her knife some color. A little darker, maybe. Now I want to know. I'm, I'm not going to say that. Not on stream. Text me later. <laughs> uh, your art is great. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, there are times when I do feel kind of down about it, but um, I've been doing better lately uh, and enjoying my stuff a little bit more than usual, which is nice. It's nice to actually like what I'm producing for once. Um, add blood. I don't think I'm going to add blood to this one. Uh, I do want her to keep her a little bit more wholesome, but I will do the knife because 
I think the knife with the I think the juxtaposition of cute character with a knife is really funny. Okay. Oh, her paint like down here needs colored. It is the very first thing people see when they come to my channel. That's true. Uh, you do have your channel decked out to shit with my art, man. Um, okay, so let's turn our background off and see where we are. Clean things up a little bit. Do this cleanup real quick, and then we'll get to basic shading, and that'll be the first character art locked and loaded. And then we'll move on to our next piece. Um, we'll see how fast the next piece goes. I might only end up getting to two tonight, unfortunately. Uh... I do kind of have to like pace myself because I obviously don't want to give myself a wrist injury. Uh, my wrist does start to hurt after a while of drawing and it doesn't help that I spend half of my day at work typing on a computer or writing out notes. You know, I also have to do all my physics homework by hand, which also puts a lot of strain on my wrist. So unfortunately I can't do too much without injuring myself. Um, man, I keep messing up her, man, I keep messing up her little ears. There we go. Okay, that line art looks pretty clean. It's shading time. So for my shading, it's I do pretty simple shit, honestly. I don't go super high tech with my stuff. I, uh, oop, that's the wrong layer. With my shading, I literally just uh, take a very dark purple, layer it into spots that I think look good, and I lower the opacity and that's my shading. It's tried and true. Uh, one mistake that a lot of people make when they first start with shading is that they use a, uh, they use, um, like a dark black color. Like, I, when I first started out, I did all my shading with black. And a fun little factoid for all y'all artists out there, uh, black is not a very natural looking shading color. I recommend you choose a different cool color, such as, like, blue's great. Since, char since my character is mostly purple, I use a very dark purple. Um, it kind of helps make your art look a little less, like, it makes your art look a little, just a little bit more, I know that you probably aren't going for realism with cartoons, but it kind of brings a sense of realism to the piece, even if that's not necessarily what you're going for. Um, because one other fun fact I learned, and I didn't learn this till I came to college, but it's actually pretty important for you to know realism in order to get into cartoonism. I probably should be better at realism than I am before starting to draw cartoons. But it actually does help a lot to know how to draw from life in when you're drawing cartoons. Um, I've improved a lot since I actually started working on realism pieces. And part of that was also that I took a design class in college, which helped me improve a shit ton. I generated some of my favorite work during that year of school. But I think that I'm liking where I'm going lately, you know? Okay, so yeah, I just go in, I block out some super simple shapes. Basically, places where there's a line, I go in, I fill, and then I also do a lot of like rounded circular shapes to the shading as well, because I just like the way that looks. This is obviously not the most realistic way to do it. This is my kind of stylized way of shading. Um... Sorry, one sec. I just had to check a text message real quick. Uh, but, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going for super realistic. I do my kind of stylized look. That's what I like to do. Uh, I go for my own stylization personally, just because that's the style I like on my work. I just think it looks the best, you know? Shading here, a little bit more here, probably. Like that. Yeah, cool. Where else do I want to add some shading in? Probably on her hand, need some. Definitely here. But yeah, art is just a really, it's a fun hobby. Um, it takes a lot of skill to kind of get adjusted to, but once you do, uh, it's a lot nicer. 
All right, now I just lower my opacity to where I think the shading looks best, which I think that looks pretty good like that. Um, now I'm gonna go in and add in my highlights, which is gonna be the last piece of uh, my piece here. I do my highlights last. Do my little eye shines, just like that. Can Discord stop giving me notifications while I'm streaming? Thank you. <laughs> um, hmm. So I do her eye shines, and then this is also just a kind of stylistic look as well. But I like to do big, chunky, white highlights on my characters. Okay, Discord, you're gonna need to stop. I am shutting you down. Notification settings. Disable. All right, hopefully we should stop getting notification beeps on Discord. <laughs> um, sorry about that, folks. I didn't think I'd be getting so many messages. Uh, okay. Do my highlights on the ears here. Nice. Whoops. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I do big chunky highlights because I think it looks fun and cute and cartoony. So I, uh, in, in traditional art that translates to me using, uh, big chunky Posca pens to highlight colored art with markers. Might have been me. Ah, uh, man, saboteur destroying the stream. <laughs> um, murderous, yeah, facts, big facts coming for you <laughs> but uh yeah okay finish off my chunky highlights here and we'll go on to i'll take a little wrist break and then i'll go on to my next piece i think her pant color is a little off but we're gonna stick with it because i don't feel like redoing it But yeah, I don't remember what prompted me to just start doing big chunky highlights like this. I think one of the first pieces I did it on was I did a piece of Pokemon art uh, using Bisharp, which is obviously a very metallic Pokemon. And since I started with that, I was like, okay, I like the way this looks. Why can't I just do this with all of my characters? And so I started just doing it with all of them. I would color in marker and then I'd go in with pos white Posca paint markers and do big ass chunky highlights. And it just kind of added a little bit more pop. And ever since then, I have kind of started to translate that into my digital art as well, because I just really like how it looks. And I know it's not like technically correct and I know it's not how shading is supposed to work. I just like the way it looks. And art can be, that's one of the th fun things about cartoons, is like, it's not necessarily realistic. It's playing with realism. And since I can do whatever I want, I do do whatever I want. <laughs> Who's gonna stop me? It's my art. What are they gonna do? <laughs> uh, tail. It's probably gonna be the last highlight to do. Thank you for the follow, Beardo. Hey, there you go. Following the custodians, you love. Wait, yeah. Follow, did you follow the custodians? Blood on the knife or a gleam? I'm gonna do a gleam. Blood on the knife was requested, but I am gonna try to keep her character a little bit more sanitized, just because I just kind of want, like, I want her to have that sort of horror aspect to her, but not quite that much. Uh, and plus, it'd be hypocritical for me to draw her with blood um, if I literally like. She's one of the characters I put in for Art Fight, where if people want to draw her, they can. And uh, I tell them not to draw any blood. So if I'm gonna tell other people they can't, I can't do it myself, it's not, right? But yeah, this is my first piece done. This is Hush wielding a knife. Oh, wait, actually, I wanna do one more thing. I wanna do a big ass, like, knife gleam here. Do some little shiny sparkles coming off the knife. Sparkling with murder murderous intent. Cute. <laughs> uh, I might actually move this up a little bit so you can actually see the full thing. Nice! Cute! 
combat hush. Facts. Actual facts. She's on her way to kick some ass, and we love to see it. All right. That's drawing number one done. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick wrist break, get some water, and then I'll spin for my next prompt. <laughs> do those wrist stretches keep things limber ready for the next art <laughs> okay so grab a little drink look out Akaza fucking facts I'm coming for your ass Akaza I'm gonna beat the shit out of you you did my boy Rengoku dirty I think that's the right character could be wrong I like Demon Slayer, I'm not an expert. <laughs> Let me grab a quick drink. I didn't say what he did, I just said he did him dirty. That's no spoilers, man. Just said I did him dirty, that's all you need to know. He did him dirty. All right, let's spin that wheel, baby. See what our next art is. And the wheel spins now. Oh! Okay, cool. This one will be interesting. So this was one of the Discord suggestions. Uh, it was actually suggested by Rhett, who I think is in chat currently from the Custodians. Uh, he suggested I draw Ghost Rider. Uh, which, if I'm being dead ass, I don't know what Ghost Rider looks like, so I'm gonna go ahead and look him up. Ghost Rider. Let's see what you look like, my guy. Um, is it like Ghost Rider from comic books or Ghost Rider from the movies? Comic art. Let's see what he looks like. Okay, yeah, he, he do be kind of sick, though. From the comics? Okay. Dude do be looking kind of fucking sick. Just flaming skull guy on a motorcycle? That's pretty damn cool. I don't know if I'll be able to do him justice, but I will try. <laughs> uh, Nicolas Cage? Oh. <laughs> the Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider? Yes. Leather jacket, flaming skull. But as Hush? <laughs> Dude, Hush Ghost Rider would actually be kind of fun. But we'll stay true to the prompt. We'll try doing Ghost Rider. Uh, I can't promise it'll be, uh, it'll be, it's the coolest design character I can think of. Yeah. I can't promise he'll be perfect, but I can promise I'll make an attempt. So, uh, ignore my gallery real quick while I open up a new piece. Screen size. Bam. All right. Let's get working on a sketch. Uh, like I said, do not expect perfection with this because... I'll be using reference, but doing characters that I've never done before is where my art is going to suffer a little bit more. Lion King? Is that a suggestion for something I can draw next? Because I'll definitely add Lion King to the list. Oh, or you saw my Lion King art. Okay, well, I'll show it off real quick. Yeah, I drew some Lion King redraws uh, because I kind of got into a bit of a phase for a bit where I started playing this really fun online browser game called Lioden where you get to like start your own part of lions and just kind of pop off of it. Um, and after doing that, I, uh, yeah, not Lion King 2 as well. After I started playing Lioden, I sat down and uh, watched both Lion King 1 and 2. Not one and a half, but just one and two. Simba's Pride, huh? Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of the second movie. It's probably one of the only Disney se sequels I'm like enjoying. But yeah, I, and then I did some art of that. You can also see like a couple other random things in my gallery here. Some of which I like, some of which I don't. So let's pretend we don't see them. <laughs> All right. So let's think of how I'm gonna try to do this. To go. <laughs> oh, I wanted to draw Scar, but Scar is hard to nail. And I feel like if I did him dirty, I'd just feel bad, you know? Uh, let's see here. Sorry if I'm not drawing right away. I'm scrolling through some reference art on 
uh, my desktops. So you guys can't see it because I'm not going to risk Googling shit on stream because you never know what might pop up and I ain't about to get banned. <laughs> um, okay. So he's just kind of like a flaming skull dude in a leather jacket, which I kind of dig. So let's just kind of like try something, I guess. Like I said, I can't guarantee you this will be good, but I can guarantee you I'll try my best. Okay, so he's a skull guy, so he has like a jawbone, I guess? I don't really... How do I draw skulls? I'll just draw a normal head for now, and we'll transform that into a skull later on. I feel less- it's awful, I feel less confident in drawing people than I do anthropomorphic animals. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just easier for me to draw. Maybe it's because the proportions are a little easier to play with, you know? Uh... Do some broad shoulders. Maybe not quite that broad. Like, you want this dude to look natural, not like he's built like a brick shit house. So, get some sketchy little lines down there. Give him some sassy little hips. Because it's my favorite pose. Maybe tone those shoulders down just a little bit more. I'm not exactly known for my broad-shouldered people art. Okay. Looking pretty decent. It's looking pretty decent. Okay. Um. What kind of weapon does he use? He uses a chain. Hmm. Do I really want to draw individual chain links tonight? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just throw him in a pose for now, I guess. Okay. Well, no, because if his shoulder, his shoulder's gonna need to be adjusted. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. This is gonna be a harder one for me to do. I really hope I don't do him dirty, man. some arm adjustments later but that's fine because I'm not aiming for perfection with the sketch as I said and we'll save it with his chain going like that and drooping off the hand like that okay move this guy up a little bit okay throw some legs in there is actually not looking too bad considering I just kind of pulled it off the pulled out of my ass here <laughs> I just kind of did some random shit but it's not looking too bad actually I just need to readjust the arms a little bit because that doesn't look very natural that doesn't look natural either what am I doing wrong here maybe the whole arm needs to rotate not just the elbow section that's probably what it is yeah, that's much better. Okay, cool. So then he wears like a leather jacket. It's got some spikes on the here, which you'll love to see. I'm a sucker for spiked leather jackets. I think they look sick as hell. <laughs> okay, nice, excellent, great. Make the neck a little wider, maybe. Um kind of comes down in the front like that and he's got probably a shirt underneath maybe Let's see if I can find a picture where it's not like completely covered by flame oh this is a better picture of the jacket so it's got like 
collar that comes out like this. Little collar. Which we'll see if I keep that like it is. Mm, okay. Got some pads on the shoulders. Nice. How does the front go? Oh, here's a good picture of it. Okay. That's much better. Let's see that. Mm, that's not, not like that. Let's do it like that. So, kind of comes down like this. Just like that. And then kind of zips down the front like this. And he has a little belt. Where's the belt? He's got pants. Which pants? Yeah. Oh, he's got some sick little bracers too. Okay. So, do that. Throw some arm bracers on there. They're studded, so I'll throw some little spiky details. Throw some more up here. Nice. Okay. Um, what else do I want to try and throw on here with my sketch? What do his shoes look like? Does he wear boots? Boots with the fur? Okay, there's some shoes. Okay, so they come up to about here. Looks like. He does wear boots indeed. Okay. I feel like there's a pretty solid sketch start. So let's start thinking about how we're going to incorporate this skull head here. Let me try looking up some more reference. Uh, looks like it's a lot of like some skull like cheekbones there into teeth maybe hmm. it's harder than you think skulls are not something I typically draw so this is gonna be a hard one for me it's also gonna look like he has a huge forehead because he doesn't have hair other than his flames Go ahead and undo all of that because I'm not liking it. I don't like it. Fix that up a little bit. What skull design do I want to go for? He's hard. You really challenged my artistic abilities tonight, <laughs> which I knew would happen. Do I like Lilo and Stitch? I love Lilo and Stitch. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. Uh, I used to draw a shit ton of Stitch. Uh, I have like a bunch of old sketchbooks that are just full of stitch. I used to color stitch. I used to do pencil art stitch. I just did a ton of stitch. I love, 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 love Lilo and Stitch. Um, man, he is hard. Okay, so this is the top of his skull here. He's got some pretty pronounced like cheekbones, so I feel like I definitely need to like sculpt, sculpt those bitches in. Okay, just some cheekbones there. Skulls have this gap where jaws connect. And then his teeth go here. Uh, okay. That's how teeth go. Cool, not bad. up here it kind of makes like an up down upside down heart shape doesn't it like this nice how do they do his angry eyes he's got like very pronounced brows in his skeletal structure mm. 
know about some more OCs? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, it depends on how much I'm willing to share with the internet at this point in time, if I'm honest. Uh, I don't love how his skull is looking, but I can clean that up later on. Okay, and I need to bring him down a little bit more because the most important part of this is the fire head, and we can't have that hidden. I mean, let's think here. Are there any OCs I'm willing to tell people about at this time, at point in time? I mean, I do a lot of dragon characters because I'm a sucker for fantasy stuff. So, like, I think I mentioned earlier that Isaiah is one of my characters. She's a dragon character. I'm a sucker for him, what can I say? Uh, let's see, what does his color palette look like? He's black and orange. Lots of contrast. So I'll choose, like, a nice... I don't, like, typically use black for my line art, but we're gonna use some darker colors. Um, okay. Fuck it, let's try some line art. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, where do I want to start with this guy? Start on the shoulders, I guess. Down to the elbow. Nice. Like this. Good. Okay. Nice. The arm still does not look quite right, does it? I think that the elbow region needs to come up a little bit more. here. This music's not really super fitting for this drawing, is it? <laughs> I think it's, is it literally just Snowden Town from Undertale? Like, it's just this very cute, fun, like, happy music, and I'm drawing Skull Man McGee. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and change the music to the next one. <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. This is great. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's think here. Let's do like this. But yeah. How are folks in chat doing tonight? I haven't talked much to chat today, have I? Papyrus. <laughs> Big facts. Yeah, this is my, this is Papyrus. Obviously it's Papyrus. Yeah, clearly, obviously, clearly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how are folks in chat doing tonight? I, I talked to chat a little bit, but I just noticed I took a bit of a break where I just didn't. So how's everybody doing? Is everybody holding up on this lovely, or as lovely as Mondays can get, Monday evening? <laughs> um, anybody here drawing along with the stream? I know some people like to do that, myself included. I watch other artists stream and then I draw along. It's kind of a fun little symbiotic drawing activity. Editing? Yeah, very fair. That's what I should be doing, honestly. Uh, cause I have- I haven't uploaded to YouTube in a couple of days just because I was busy. I had Father's Day and that kind of stuff, so I went to visit family. And I can't edit when I'm visiting family cause I won't have my equipment with me. Um, I still have another half of a portal upload to do. Thanks to a call out, I had to stay late to close. It was a rough day. Yeah, that sucks. I'm very sorry to hear that. That stuff's the worst, man. Always, yeah. I'm sure with you, it isn't really a full-time job uh, editing. You have a lot of shit to edit. Um, me, not so much. I do like the occasional editing video, uh, but being me in true fashion, not liking editing, I do a lot of my stuff as edit-free as possible. Which is why a lot of my channel is stream VODs and Pokemon uploads. Because I think Pokemon uploads are fun to do, and they require little to no editing. Because I am generally pretty good at keeping those mistake-free so I don't have to edit. Draw some little spikies on his little bracer here. Cute. Okay. Um, where do I want to go next? This is probably, I'd say, one of the hardest parts, is navigating where to go next on a character, you know? You start in one section, and then you go to the next. Where's my reference that I was using for his jacket? 
give me that jacket reference back. I need to see it so I can see how to do his little jacket. There it is. Little jacket flaps. So they kind of come out like this and then come down. Well, maybe not quite that smooth. Like that. He's kind of got fire that comes down his neck as well, so I might have to add some of that in. Okay, and this one overlaps. Okay. Go ahead and erase those lines there. Yeah, closing sucks, man. I don't fortunately have to work closing shifts with the position I'm in, but uh, I've had to work something similar before and they are the worst. Having to close is not fun, especially if you have to stay late. Okay. Kind of appropriate music now though with the fire mi magma mine soundtrack. <laughs> considering I'm drawing a fire-based character here. Uh, so how do I want to go about that spot here? Maybe I'll move that up a little bit. He's a trickier one to do, for sure. That's not bad. I feel like it should end lower, though. Like here. This card can be open. Neck is here. Cool. Draw the face. We'll see how this goes. Looking pretty decent there. So much of my art is literally just going in and undoing what I just put on the paper. Because I'm like, eh, I don't like it. <laughs> a lot of my, probably the button that gets the absolute most use is going to be my undo button. Um, okay, so he's got his little jaw bones. There's also like a little bulge where the eyes connect, isn't there? It doesn't look very right though. It looks kind of alien to do that. Maybe I won't. We'll see how this goes. See how the skull looks. I don't draw skulls very often, so this is tricky for me. Okay, that leads into our little mouthy hole here, which I'll fill in. Damn it. I hate it when it does that. There we go. Okay, fill in that mouthy hole. Cool. Not bad. We'll do the teeth detailing now, which he has like little... All right, let's think here. Let's see how teeth work. So we have our front two, as one does. And we have the one next to it, canines. And we got some molars here in the back, like that. And then the bottom's basically pretty much equilateral. About like that. And draw. Hmm. And that makes his teeth a little long, doesn't it? Maybe I'll have his mouth be open. if his mouth's open. It's pretty good. Little fun fact, if you're drawing teeth and you need to remember how they look, just kind of use your tongue to touch your own teeth. You have them right there in your mouth. <laughs> Don't know why that was a little fact I decided to include, but yeah, if you want to draw teeth, they I mean they're right there in your mouth. Just use your tongue. Touch them. See how it feels. Know if they, know if they still be there and know if they're fitting like they're supposed to. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. Let's 
that's not bad, not bad at all. Okay. First big angry eye, nice. And then I'm gonna do a little secret technique here called cheating, which not technically, but kind of. Just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this eye. I don't feel like trying to attempt the other one. Okay. This one needs to move a little further over though. It's too close. Nice. Looks pretty good. Merge that down. Yeah, if you can't draw the other eye, just fucking copy the copy it and paste it. It makes life easy. Work smart, not hard, you know? <laughs> Okay, good. Good start, good start. I'm actually liking how the skull's looking, which is shocking, because I wasn't expecting to like it. I mean, I know that there's supposed to be like a distinction between the orbital bones and the rest of the face, but I think it just makes him look kind of scuffed, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, all right, let's do his next shoulder. It's giving me life to draw this kind of leather jacket look because I talked a little bit up earlier about how I have a character named Pike that has hella piercings, and he also wears a he also wears a little leather jacket moment because that's the kind of style I was going for with him. And I love drawing leather jackets. As a matter of fact, his actually has the spiked, studded shoulders just like this. <laughs> um, but I like really, I really like drawing them. I think it's a cool kind of aesthetic. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and just that like that right there cool whoa okay do that this line needs to be a little thicker I think like that nice okay jacket ends about there this is where we'll put his belt so Put his little belt here. Another belt here. Connect the two. Okay, nice. I'd say that's probably like one of the biggest advantages to drawing digital is having the undo button is honestly such a godsend. It like saves my ass so often, honestly. <laughs> it makes my life so much easier. Um, like, one of the things that's hilarious about uh, drawing digitally versus drawing traditionally is, like, I guess with both, you just get so used to doing things one way that doing things the other way is so, like, difficult to readjust to. For example, um, when I draw to like digital for a long time and don't draw traditional. When I go back to traditional, I uh, have a tendency to carry over some of my uh, digital habits, such as trying to zoom in by mistake all the time. That's a pretty common thing I do, is try to zoom in on traditional pieces when you can't zoom in there, very cool. Ooh, I just noticed his little gloves have like, studded fingers. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Draw this kind of fisty shape here. Looks like you like draw that. And then long finger shape there. And then like that, probably. And for his knuckles, you draw these little spiky doodads. Oh, that's pretty good. Obviously his hands aren't going to be perfect. Hands suck to draw. I'm sorry, I'll do my best, but they're the worst. All my artists out there know what I'm talking about. Hands suck ass. <laughs> sorry for that momentary rant, but that's probably the best hand you're gonna get out of me tonight, honestly. That's why my that's why my character Hush has chubby little fingers. 
And it's why my other characters always have such cartoony hands. Hands suck. They're not fun to draw. This is looking pretty sick, though. I'm actually pretty happy with how this is going. Which is nice. I don't always love how things like this go. So I'm happy this is going good. Ah. Mm, I don't love that hand though, but it's gonna be what it is because I'm not good at hands. That's better actually, I'm gonna do that. Can my duck be friends with your hush? Absolutely. She's very friendly. And I'm a duck enjoyer, as you already know. Ducks are cute, and their eggs are very good, high quality for baking. <laughs> Which I, I don't have to tell you that, you know that, but. <laughs> I'm, I'm a duck enjoyer, I like ducks. We're getting more run You're getting more runners? Oh my god, when you get more ducks, you have to send me pictures. I want to see pictures of all of the duckies. Do you know, like, when you're getting them? Okay, let's move the little bulge off the sides here. No idea they are a gift? Oh, when you get them, send me pictures. From your dad's friend. Yes, okay, gotcha. When you get them, oh, oh, are they like, uh, are they like ducklings or are they like your dad's friend had them and is getting rid of them so you get full grown ducks? Okay, this. Full grown, they should all be ladies for Will. <laughs> That's cute. That'll be nice though, that you won't have to uh, take care of ducklings. Because ducklings are a little higher maintenance, aren't they? Than just having the adults. It might be make your life a little easier not to have to... I mean, ducklings are very cute, don't get me wrong, but it's easier to not have to babysit ducklings. Yes, poor Jay can take a break from getting bullet. Oh, yeah, true. Big facts, unfortunately. Birds are cute, but they can be indeed be mean. I remember I had a friend who uh, used to have chickens, and there was one chicken named Penny that all the other chickens used to pick on, and I felt really bad for them. I felt really bad for Penny. She was really cute. She was an Afro chicken. I was like, how dare you bully a beautiful Afro chicken? with that lovely feather afro. It's so sad, I hate to see it. Okay. I'm just not gonna draw fingers on that, because you know what, it, I don't have to. If I don't have to, I'm not gonna. <laughs> um, okay, cool, upper body's looking pretty decent. Let's do the legs real quick. Which, fortunately, this should be the easiest part. Just give this MF some thick-ass thighs, as one does. Not as shaky as that, with my freaking shaky-ass hand over here. Looking decent. Calf, come down to footsie. Yeah, he's gonna have some well-defined calves. I'm sorry if he looks a little bit like, uh, I'm sorry if he looks like a little bit mad thick, but it's just gonna be how he is. Uh, cause that's how I draw calves and thighs, baby. He's gonna be thicked up on a Monday evening. <laughs> cause that's, that's what I can draw. <laughs> he, do, he does look kinda, he looks low-key kind of thick, but that's just going to be how he is because that's what I know how to draw. And I'm not here to like break the boundaries of art tonight, my folks. It is indeed a Monday night. I work a full-time job. This is just me coming to big chill. 
I'm not gonna do anything super crazy with my art this evening. Probably the most wacky I'm gonna get with it is actually drawing this character, because drawing characters I don't know is hard. And I'm, but I'm having fun though. This is looking really good. I really like how the way the hush drawing turned out as well, which is exciting. <laughs> What's going on Twitter after this? Because I like how it looks. <laughs> I thought that turned out really funny. I don't know why it never occurred to me before to draw her with a to draw her with a knife. I literally have like a really weird sketch of her with a lemon, but uh, like a literal photorealistic lemon that I photoshopped into the picture. But I've never drawn her with a knife. And you know what? She needed it. She needed that intimidation factor. <laughs> it really added some depth to her character, you know? Okay. Little sassy foot here. Sassy foot time. How are we gonna draw Mr. Sassy Foot? Okay, not bad. This needs to be thicker. Maybe? It doesn't look terrible. Try like that. Sorry if I'm getting kind of quiet, folks. I'm focusing intensely on my art. Because, <laughs> like I said, this guy's a little harder to draw because he's not a character I'm very familiar with, so I have to pay attention to what I'm doing with him. Okay, well, the anatomy on that's probably not perfect, but. Like I said, it might be the best we get out of me tonight. I like it better in the first way. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. So he's not looking too terrible. Let's give his boots some ridges. Add a little bit more depth. I'm super excited to start Art Fight. Um, it's only a couple weeks away. They're supposed to have a stream this Wednesday about um, announcing the... Uh, teams and letting people pick which team they want to be on, which I'm super hype about because last year I got randomly placed and didn't get to pick. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty psyched about that shit for sure, for sure. Um, okay, so he's looking pretty decent. Let's try turning the sketch off and see how I like it. Uh, looks decent, looks decent. Uh, kind of wish his shoulders were a little broader. Maybe I should just make his head smaller. Nah, he's fine. It'll look better once I'm done fully rendering. For a piece like this one, I think I'm probably gonna do a little bit different than I did with my Hush piece because she's a little bit more cartoon than this guy is. This guy is just a little bit more, a little bit less cartoony than I would normally go. So I might try some new stuff with him a little bit. Though, it's already been about couple hours. Maybe I don't want to go too crazy with it. We'll see. We'll see how I get there. Because I do still have some work to do on him. I haven't even started coloring or his chains. So those are going to take a hot minute. Let's go ahead and do his chains real quick. And yeah, before you ask, I am going to individually draw these chains because I can't. while to do, but that's okay. I knew what I was getting into when I started this. Okay, looks pretty decent. Okay, so then we want our chain arc to kind of come through there. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. 
Yeah, I know that this is probably not the most ideal way of doing things, but if you know another way to do it on Procreate, you tell me, baby. Because this ain't no Quip Studio Paint where I get fancy brushes that do all the work for me. I got to manually draw every chain link in. <laughs> Copy paste. See, okay. Since when did you be a genius? Hello? You're smart as fuck. I love you. Thank you for saving me like an hour of my time. Queen. Copy some chain links. So damn smart. Why did I not think of that? You're fucking smart. Copy. Paste. Look at that. Ain't that a peach? Ah, so much faster. I mean, it will. Why is it? Oh, it's because it somehow got all the way down there. Okay. Interesting. What is occurring here? Okay, so we want that one. Paste. Good. Excellent. You really just saved me so much time on that. Thank you for reminding me that copy paste is a thing I can do. And that I'm not some tortured traditional artist that must painstakingly draw every single detail that I can actually utilize the tools that I have. Makes my life a lot easier. line out. Let's merge all these guys down. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty damn good. Do a little bit of line cleanup, which won't take me that long to do. some of these again just because of the way they be looking. Ah, bump my mic. Sorry if it was loud. Okay. Got that going. Looking slick. I'm very excited to see how this turns out. This is gonna look sick. This is actually a very fun character to try and draw. I don't know why I've never thought to try drawing stuff like this before, but it's pretty fun. Okay, and these guys can all just get erased because we don't need those. Nice, he's got chains, got the drip. <laughs> which I'll just do my same method, paste, and drag these biatches down here to make them hanging from his palm. You'll love that. Okay, stop. a little 
little bit longer. Come on now, thank you. Good Lord, took you that a minute. Ah, no. I hate it, <laughs> if you don't like grab it just perfect, the uh, thing tries to like resize it for you. Let's try warping those guys a little bit. Nice, that looks good. Okay, so let's paste one more time. Have this chain down to about right there. And we have to erase that. Clean up our lines a little. Move those up. Sick. All right, now we get to clean up beneath. We love doing line cleanup. Nice. It looks pretty good. All right, nice. And now we're gonna get to our color section because we don't want this to last too long into the night. So let's reference this. Let's start color dropping, baby. Fortunately, he wears all black. It makes my color choices a very easy. Dude wears black on black on black. I appreciate him. I respect it and I appreciate it. Ooh. Somewhere there's a closed a line that's not closed there. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so I'm gonna have to manually color this section. Drip? Yeah, man's got the drip. Why is he so dripped out, though? <laughs> like I said, I respect the vibes. I'm a, I'm big into, like, this whole goth, studded, blackened, chained aesthetic, you know? I think it's pretty cool, honestly. Hence why I have a character that has a very similar kind of vibe. Pike? Yeah, exactly. You know who I'm talking about. You know me. You know me too well. Pike is this exact same thing. He's a little less like full leather just because of a comfort standpoint. But yeah, this is very much Pike. He wears the spikes, he's got the leather. He's If this guy had like AU, honestly, yeah, that'd be pretty fucking sick, not gonna lie. Write that shit down, stellar. Okay. So his shoulder, little his little shoulder pads are also black, but his spikes are like a silver color. So I'll make his little shoulder pads black. And his spikes will be a nice silver. And we'll go ahead and do our background color like that so we can actually see where we're dropping our silver colors here. Very satisfying to come in and drop in all of his little silver spikes. Nice and easy. Ah. Cool. Sorry if that was kind of a loud bang. I dropped my iPad a little bit. It's fine. This little silver zipper here. Nice. Spiky boys. And some more spiky boys on his gauntlet. And if you're wondering why I haven't drawn the fire in on his head, I've kind of decided I'm going to turn that fire into like a, uh, I'm gonna make that fire a bit of a uh, lineless color thing, because I think that would look better with the design I'm picturing. If it looks awful, I'll go in and add lines for it later, but, okay, sick. Got his black drip going. Excellent. Let's go ahead and add in his chain color. Oh, I forgot to clean up his line art first though. I have to do that because these sections cannot be this way. Okay. Nice. Where else is that at? Right here and here. And again here, there, there. Because the 
chain goes in front of him, so it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to have... Would not make a whole lot of sense for him to have his clothes going through the chain links, huh? I also forgot to do clean up on these chains down here. The thing that's going to be tricky about, since these chains are copy and pasted and adjusted, I am going to have to mostly individually color them because the pixelation, when you adjust stuff like this, causes it to be so that you can't generally color drop it. I'll still try, but it's going to be way too hard, probably. But we shall see. All right, let's turn our background dark again so I can start doing some chains. Which the coloring on these shouldn't take that long. But let's see if we can. Nope, I didn't think so. We're gonna have to color all of these because unfortunately, the resizing pixelizes the line art. And it's pixelized to the point where not even changing the extents of the color drop will fix it. But I mean, I, it's still a pain to go through and color drop all of these anyway, so it's not like it's taking that much longer for me to do, to just manually go through and hand color them. Because the color dropper honestly takes about as, just as long, because you still have to do it for each individual chain link. This is why a lot of people who draw stuff like this do it in black and white, so they can just leave the chains white. And not have to do this. I'm vibing with the Stardew music though. Big fan, big fan, big enjoyer. I haven't played Stardew Valley in forever, honestly. I kind of lost a little bit of motivation because I was for a while aiming to get like, I was for a while aiming to get like 100% perfection in Stardew Valley. Like not with the, I do have 100% perfection. I mean like 100% of the achievements on Steam. Uh, but then I realized how much of a bear that would be because you have to do like Journey the Prairie King shit. And like, first of all, I suck at that game in the first place. And one of the achievements is you just have to beat it. And then the other achievement is like, you have to beat it with taking no damage. And that's literally impossible for me. It ain't gonna happen, honestly. If I'm being like dead ass with you, I will never be able to beat that without taking damage. I still can't even just beat it without, I, can't, I just can't even beat it. So I cannot imagine myself ever being able to beat it with taking no damage. Okay. We're getting there in these chains for sure, for sure. Man, it's hot in this office. I'd love to have my door open or my fan running, but I don't want to lower my stream sound quality. Ah. Oh, you want to know what probably would help? If I actually, like, referenced the layer the trains were drawn on? Yeah, I'd probably, you know, now that I think about it, now that I think about it, maybe that's why it wasn't working before. You have to, like, actually reference the layer you're color dropping or else it doesn't color drop. That is how color drop works. Nah, still just done work on some of them. Oh, right, because that one's got an open line. Looks good. Nice. So I can just color drop these. Nope, not that one. <laughs> I'm just going to color them by hand, it's easier. on my wrist, but easier overall. Let's get a vibe check from chat. Who's still chilling with me here? Because I know this one has taken a little bit longer to do. And I've been a little quieter because I'm like ultra focused in on getting this one done. How's chat feeling? Do I still have any folks with me? 
I don't, I'm not able to check my numbers while I'm drawing, so I don't know how many people I even have here. <laughs> oh. Howdy. Ah, you're still with me. Excellent. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Skelly boy. Skelly boy looking good. We just need to add some color to his skull. Add a little bit on that side there. Nah, okay. Need to reference him. So I've got at least one person alive. That's excellent. That's two. It's too flesh toned. That's better. Bring that down to this. Nice. Cool. Excellent. All right. Let's do the flamey head. So we're going to use some bright, bright orange. I'm going to turn on our sketch layer here so I can see where I wanted my stuff to go. Endeavor. <laughs> I mean, I definitely do appreciate the Endeavor vibes this gives off, not gonna lie. Though he is a little bit less of a beard of flame and more of like just a absolute hairdo. Rash burns. Okay, good. Looking good so far. We're gonna do what's called a, bro, a pro gamer move here. Nice, looking good. We're gonna fix the coloration here a little bit though. Copied. I'm going to paste it over the top. We're going to lower that layer opacity. So you can still see his little head poking through the flames, but he's colored in, you know? And I'm going to delete his neck area, and I'm just going to make him, like, a floating head. Because I don't like the way the neck area looks. And honestly, that's what he looks like in his art anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, see, that looks pretty sick. Nice. Um, all right, let's go to his orange layer here. We're gonna add in some bright yellow to the center here. I wish I had done that on its own layer so I could have just color dropped it. That would have been so much faster. But I like the shapes too much to, to erase it and start over, so we're just going to manually color it. Taking longer than I thought they would, honestly. 
since I did do a couple prompts this time, those prompts are going to get removed from our list and obviously not be on there again, because it would not be very fun to watch me draw the same characters multiple streams in a row. Um, I might leave Hush on there just as a, like, if I can get her as a warm-up sort of character kind of thing, and I can do a lot with her since she is my own character. But obviously for suggestions that come from the community, where it's like, oh, draw this very specific thing, then I'm going to remove those after they have been used. Okay, it looks sick. Nice. Okay. So, then one thing I might do to add a little bit of pop here. some erasing here and there. Clean that up a bit. Do some cool highlights on there. Yeah. Sans alternate form. Facts. <laughs> uh, nice. Okay. That looks pretty cool. Turn off my sketch layer there and see how this is looking. Sick. All right. Now I'm just going to do some very, very basic shading, and we're going to call it there for the, for the stream. So let's do some very basic shading shit. That's what we're going to do. Come here. Okay. Very basic shading. We're just going to do a little pro game remove and reference these so I can just color drop everything instead of manually coloring be a lot faster. Okay, nice. Little shade here. here gotta go to bed all right that's fine i'm probably gonna post these on twitter anyway so if you want to see if you want to see how uh they turn out be sure to check out my twitter account tomorrow morning but yeah get some sleep i understand like as soon as this is done i most likely will be doing that as well we'll see <laughs> depends on if there's other things to keep me awake at night which generally there are i have a hard time sleeping um, let's do some more shading here. Okay, nice. Under shading here. Perhaps I don't really like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, where else do I want to do shading at? Probably under the hand a little. I can cuddle you. I wish, man. You need to drive here again so you can visit me. pretty good. All right. Last thing. Highlight time. And since this is going to be a fire character, we're going to use yellow for the highlights instead of white this time. I'm not going to shade the chains because fuck that. <laughs> but I will shade everything else. is is as dark as this character's design is I might actually have to lower the opacity of my chunky shading because chunky shading 
has to be lowered sometimes. Sometimes you can't just have like these big stark lines running across the character. Sometimes you do have to tone it down a little bit just for the sake of aesthetic. So another line here, 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 on the edge of the fist. Okay, here on the fist as well, on the sides of our little spiky boys. starting music absolutely slaps okay top of the belt and here as well that there there here You should get more emojis for your character when you talk so then it can cycle through like different poses as you speak before going back to drawing one so that there is variation. Yeah, the thing that makes that hard is the, the application I use for my character, it really only allows you to do a couple kind of limited things with it. I would, the way that a lot of people do where their characters look a little bit more animated, they upload their whole like, you really only get to have two frames with this application. You get to have a frame of talking, you get to have a frame of idle, and then you get blinking forms of both of those. And for that, it's like... I'm gonna do a little softer shading on this guy. Um, basically what I'm trying to say is uh, I could do that, but the way I'd have to do it is I would have to upload... Uh, I'd have to upload it as GIFs rather than just a static image, and I would have to use that instead. We're gonna try some different shading on this guy just because I'm not super thrilled with how this is looking on shading-wise. So we're gonna do some different shading on him. He's gonna get some like, oh, come on iPad, let me move, there we go ever so slightly more detailed shading on him just because I think he would benefit from it. Okay, so turn that down to a level that looks about natural. Gosh, and blur that shit so it doesn't look quite so harsh. Maybe tone it down a little bit. And then we use our dark shade on a new layer. Let me go in and do our darks. The shading really helped, lol. Yeah, it, it really needed something to break it up because since his outfit is all black, it really does need to have that kind of break up to it for sure, for sure. Which, you know, it's fine. His, like, I'm not the best at shading and or rendering clothes, so, like, I'm not expecting it to be perfect, but a little bit does tend to go a long way when it comes to stuff like that. It just needs a little bit of extra pop to it. All right. That might just be him, because my back hurts. <laughs> I think that might be it for the evening. Uh, oh, I did forget something very important though. Something you can never forget when you're posting stuff to the internet. Let's go. We have to watermark this bitch because otherwise it gets a stolen. I'll go back and watermark my other one before I post it. But I just write my name, my like in a natural part of the drawing, usually by one of the legs. I do my little X. Um, I fade it out so it's not quite so distracting. And that's my finished piece. That's Ghost Rider. Uh, sorry if his clothes look a little scuffed. I'm not honestly the best at doing uh, shading and rendering on clothes. So the sh And plus, it's pretty late, so the simple shading is the best you're going to get out of me tonight. But, yeah. 
Thanks so much to everybody who tuned in. I really appreciate it, especially since this one went a little bit lengthy. Uh, but hopefully you all really enjoyed my first uh, drawing stream. I'll probably be doing a lot more of these in the future because as I said, when are you going to stream again? Uh, that's a very good question. More than likely Thursday night, if not before then. My schedule is kind of inconsistent because I don't have like super set in some stuff. I probably should be better about scheduling things, but kind of right now I'm operating off of how I'm feeling that day. Um, but Thursday more than likely, probably not on Wednesday because Wednesday is the art fight stream and I'm tuning in for that because I'm very interested in participating in art fight this year. So I want to see that, but yeah, I'll probably stream again on Thursday. Um, I'll probably throw a poll in the discord on whether people want me to play games or whether they would watch me rather watch me do another drawing stream. Uh, because I know that this might not be everybody's cup of tea, so I'll let people have a little bit of decision making in that. Um, but we really will start getting into art streams when we get into, uh, July. Because July is when Art Fight starts, and I'm probably going to stream a lot of my Art Fight stuff. Just because I'm gonna be drawing anyway, so I may as well stream it, <laughs> you know? Um, but it's... I'm probably gonna have to ask for permission to do that though, because now that I think about it, I will be drawing with other people's characters, so maybe I'll have to put in the chat box that like shows whose character it is and credit them while I draw it so that I'm not drawing somebody else's character on stream with no credit. But yep, that is where I'm going to leave it for the evening. I really appreciate everybody who came out to watch tonight. I hope you had a great time. Um, and yeah, I'll probably stream again on Thursday. So if you're interested, be sure to come and check that out. Uh, and that's really all I have for you folks. If you're interested in seeing me do more stuff, I post this art all sorts of places, but probably more than likely I'm posting these tonight to Twitter and Instagram. So same username as I have on here. I'm on Twitter and Instagram as well as on TikTok, though these probably will not be going on TikTok. Maybe we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. Good night, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in. Y'all are the best. Um, bye.